Say, why do we drive on a parkway, but we park on a driveway? I don't know. That's a good question. But then again, why do British people say aluminium and Americans are just like, no, screw you, we're going to say aluminum? That's also a good question. Well, how about this? Can you cry underwater? Hmm. Well, we could go to Zora's Domain and try to find that out. Oh, hi there. Welcome to Hyrule Field, again. Gee, what a surprise. We've only been here a zillion, gabillion, trillion, whatever, million times. Oh boy, it's going to be a fun day. Anyways, we are heading off to Zora's Domain and we are actually gonna make forward progress to the next dungeon. But surprisingly, we have quite a bit of heart pieces to pick up. We're gonna be like picking up two or three here, there's always a couple sculptures. There's a lot of in-between stuff we can do and I just realized I'm going the wrong way. So probably not the smartest idea. Anyways, cross over here and this is near Coca-Rico, Coca, the, the, the Coca-Cola Village. Yeah, sure, we'll go with that. <laughs> and over here, you can slip your way onto this path, Zora's River. And as soon as you enter, you are greeted by Auli McAllenstein. Ooh, ooh, I can't too like an owl. And he's gonna tell you the obvious. Play Zelda's lullaby in front of a Triforce at the end of Zora's River. Gee, thanks for that. I would have never guessed. Ah, uh, roll into the tree. Oh boy, that came mighty close to me. And that will give us gold sculpture number 22, am I right? I, I'd like to think that I'm on number here. I'm trying to keep count in my head, and that's not so easy when you're splitting parts. Anyways, you need bombs. Kabloom. And then as we come here... Oh boy. Who put that cuckoo there? Who put... That cuckoo- Shut up, Navi! Nobody asked for your opinion! Alright, <laughs> we'll come back to the cuckoo in a second. Anyways, more importantly, beans, beans, they're good for your heart. But if you're really going to want to see that, you might as well just play as Wario in Super Smash Bros. Brawl. Uh, <laughs> Magic beans! They are very good for, well, exploring in Zelda. And my personal recommendation, buy as many of these as you can right now. If you have all 200 rupees, you probably, let's do, let's do some quick math, carry the two, round up by five. You should be able to buy like five of them. I only have enough for four. But uh, buy as many as you can, and eventually you'll want to come back and buy more. There's a lot of these spots in this game, and it's good to plant them in these soft soil sp uh, spots. Uh, so you can start by planting one here, and these will have use later on in the future. Uh, I'll point, not all of them, not like every single one is necessary to plant, but I'd say probably most of them you're going to want to plant. So you might as well buy as many magic beans as you can, and grinding rupees is easy anyways. So does it really matter in the end? No. Anyways, grab yourself a cuckoo. What is the purpose of this cuckoo? To gain hearts. Yeah, that's an odd way to think about it, considering the cuckoo wants to kill you. On your merry way, watch out for a new enemy, Octorok. And you'll have the blue to las whatever those are. Uh, the little skippy things that float around. None of these enemies are really dangerous and you're going to end up just ignoring them all. Anyways, wandering on over this way, hop over, throw the chicken, and then get ready to hop again. And I screwed that up. <laughs> Actually, now that I think about it, I badly screwed that up. I think I need the chicken a second time. Oh boy. 
Way to screw up. Now I'm going to get killed. No. Uh, by the way, I guess this is a good time to point this out. If the chicken hits the water, the chicken will return to the place it originally was at. In this case, over here. And man, did I really screw that up. <laughs> well, we shall try again to get this heart piece. Yeah, what now? I can pick up weeds. I can just pull them out of the ground. It's like Mario 2 or something. Where's the chicken? It was supposed to respawn. Oh my goodness. This game is trolling me. I'm just waiting for Majora's fan to pop in and say something. <laughs> I'm just waiting. And he's going to stay silent just to make me feel in suspense here. I'm just so used to it that I don't have anything to say. Uh. <laughs> ha, 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 ha. Hush you. <laughs> Do not laugh at my failing. It's not funny. Okay, that's a lie. It is funny. It's really funny. No, why is the owl back? What the heck? Wait, what do you mean? The owl reappeared. Where? At Zora's domain. The owl's never supposed to be there, is he? Yeah, he's supposed to be there, but he reappeared after he talked to me. Wow, you must really not have been listening to him. <laughs> the game is trolling me. Troll, -lo 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 -lo. I just realized I, I just realized I picked up enough rupees from floating in the river that I can buy another magic bean. <laughs> okay, this this part is slowly becoming completely random and off the wall and completely not related and relevant to its purpose. So the best part. <laughs> yes, they're the best parts, but they're irrelevant. All right, Cuckoo, listen, and listen good. You're going to help me get to that heart piece. And if you fail me, I just realized it's pointless to threaten you because you will kill me. All right, hold on, I must think about this. I must think about this jump before I make it. That jump has to be possible. If I'm thinking of the jump that I'm thinking of, then no, it's not. Well, no, you use the cuckoo to make the one jump, and then you jump... You lose the cuckoo, though. You're trying to get a heart piece, right? Yeah. Mr. Walkthrough Wizard, can't you just wait until after you beat the next dungeon and get a certain item that will let you get that? Shut up, we're doing things the hard way. <laughs> go, go, go! <laughs> Alright, we're gonna try this jump again. Oh, I made it. Okay. See, we didn't need no boomerang. Boomerangs are for lame people who have no sense of skill. Okay, that's a lie. The boomerang was probably the easier method. But there you go. Heart piece, I believe we're up to 11. If you want to grab another heart piece, because why would we use a boomerang? <laughs> grab the cuckoo again. <laughs> hey. I didn't ask for your opinion, and I know you want to say something, the George. <laughs> I didn't. I can't pronounce that. Oh no, the chicken fell in the water. Uh oh. Oh boy. Troll. Get back here. No. No. My one regret is I can't watch this yet. <laughs> I don't care if frogs are looking at me. Oh my goodness. Uh, <laughs> looking at you too if you're failing as much as you are. <laughs> oh my goodness. Such epic failure. Uh, frogs sit on the log all day, boring day in and day out. And then there's this kid in a green suit running around holding a chicken <laughs> falling off ledges. I'd be watching it too. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh... <laughs> Now where's the chicken at? It's supposed to respawn. Uh. <laughs> you know what? It's days like today I should just quit. I should just quit right now. Just walk away because 
I need more sleep. I think that's what it is. I'm just sleep deprived right now. <laughs> Alright. Alright. Here we go. I assure you. Why is the owl talking to me again? <laughs> it's not supposed to talk to me again. <laughs> I quit. I quit. No, that's a lie. Let's do this some more. Because I find it rather amusing. <laughs> Alright. Listen. And listen good. Maybe this is like... <laughs> A message from Din, Feyor, and Nauru that you should just go and do your mission to save Hyrule and not mess around with the chickens and stuff. You know what? I was never one for doing things the easy way. I can attest to that. We shall do things the hard way. Because I can. <laughs> No, really, this actually shouldn't be hard. I'm just miserably failing right now. It's been... We've gone through, like, two day and night cycles. This is going to be, like, the longest part I've ever uploaded of just nothingness. <laughs> you spent two days trying to get a heartbeat. That chicken's going to die. Oh, gracious. <laughs> it hasn't... Link hasn't eaten in days. He's starving. <laughs> He's gonna have to mug the guy who sells the seeds. <laughs> He's gonna have to start eating the magic beans, even though he can only buy so many of them. Exactly. Well, hey, look on the bright side. It's nighttime right now, and the next Sculptula appears in the night, so... Magically killing two birds with one stone. Alright. Next heart piece. Yeah! See? That wasn't so bad. Huh, <laughs> huh. Huh? <laughs> All right, <laughs> Skultua. It's somewhere around here. I think I actually misjumped. There it is. It's over on that ladder. No, it's somewhere around here. Slingly shot, and that takes us up to twenty-three Skultulas, and. It is now daytime again, because so much time has passed. And if you didn't hear the owl the first of three times, and he didn't hear it the second and third time, well, Zelda's lullaby. You get to be Moses for a day. You get to part the water. Although, unfortunately, this waterfall is not red. Yay for religious references. It's just like English 12. <laughs> English literature. Shakespeare and British people for the win. Welcome to Zora's Domain. I feel like I should have just cut the video, but I did plan on covering this, this part, so I'm going to do it anyways. Zora's Domain. Can you cry underwater? Well, I'm not really sure. And I don't think we're really going to ever figure that out. But I am thinking of crying after the last 10 minutes I've wasted with a cuckoo. Anyways. A uh, few things we could do here. Let's start with another heart piece. This one doesn't involve cuckoos. But unfortunately, you might end up laughing some more, Majora's fan. Because I've never had good luck with this heart piece. The way you are supposed to do it is light your shtick with a torch. And then you have to light up a bunch of torches. And for some odd reason, I can never get this to work well. Because the torches start going out, and then I have to keep running back, and it's not supposed to work like that. But somehow I fail miserably. So, let's see if I fail miserably here. This is going to be a 30 minute car. <laughs> it's going to be so long. Alright. Two torches lit. Three torches lit. And then torches are going to start going out. Wonder behind the waterfall. Light these two. No! Light! And no heart piece. So one of the torches went out. Oh jeez. I just went into the water with my stick. Oh boy. You know, it usually puts the fire out. You think? You think? 
I would have never guessed. Oh my goodness. Kill me now. This is like the most miserable fail part ever. <laughs> hey, it worked! My four class is still working. It worked. I got the heart piece. What now? I didn't take all day. <laughs> Oh boy. Alright. Heart piece over here. <laughs> this should take us up to number 13, if I'm correct. Alright. Last thing in Zora's domain of interest at this particular point in time before we're gonna leave Zora's domain for some other stuff. Mini game, very simple mini game. In fact, ridiculously easy mini game. It involves diving. And if I fail, I will cry. So, we'll see if I cry underwater here. Head up here, wander to the left, wander to the end of this little tunnel. Talk to this creepy fish thing, and for 20 rupees, we dive. <laughs> and you actually get your money back for playing this, because you dive for ru uh, blue rupees, which are worth five. And five are dropped into the water, so you end up profiting by winning this game, and you get a reward. So. How's the guy stay in business? <laughs> I have no idea how he stays in business, but somehow he makes it work, and I'm not going to complain. So. Simple diving, just wander your way around. I'm missing two. Oh my goodness, 23 seconds, no pressure. No pressure. Okay, one more. I will not fail. All right, success. Things have become a little less failish here, which I'm pretty sure failish isn't a word, but oh well. <laughs> Fellish, globish. That's a Mario and Bowser's inside story reference for the win. All right, back to the top. She's gonna give you, or he, or it, it. Yeah, we'll go with it gonna give you the silver scale and this basically lets you dive longer so with new item in hand dive to the bottom and you'll notice a little cavern and with this scale we can now actually go through this area so thank you and good night